Hey y'all, Pei here with a video about how to avoid the vast majority of scams when it comes to TF2 trading and Steam trading in general. Before we get into how to spot and avoid the majority of scams, you should check the reputation of the person you're dealing with. You can do this by, on your computer or laptop, right-clicking their profile page and clicking copy profile URL then posting this in backpack.tf search bar. If the profile comes back as being banned, a large number of negative um, reputations, simply ignore or block the friend request. If their negative reputations offer something less nefarious, such as backing out of a deal or not fulfilling listings, use your own judgment to consider if you'd want to trade with them. Do this before accepting people and you avoid 90% of scams. First, we have the general widely used scams that are easy to avoid. Number one, phishing scams. Phishing scams are when a scammer tries to get logging credentials to your account commonly through an unsecure site. Common ways they attempt to trick you into going into an untrustworthy site include asking you to vote for their competitive team. If you hear this similar a similar phrase to this, it's a scam. No competitive team cares about votes and you won't be given anything if they did. Verify that your items aren't duped. This is commonly used by scammers stating that your item will be deleted or other action will be taken against your account. In some cases, this will just be new traders, so just link your item history if someone says this. But the mo most of the time they're going to be scammers, and just don't fall for that one. Um, if anything seems suspicious, or you're asked to log into a website outside of backpack.tf, you should consult the backpack.tf Discord, specifically the trading discussion tab, and they'll be able to confirm if someone's attempting to scam you. This will be linked down below in the description. API and keylogger scams. API scams are an incredibly dangerous method being increasingly used by scammers, which similarly to um, phishing scams, usually start with the scammer sending a link to either an insecure website or a fraudulent website that looks like a legitimate website. This can be difficult to tell apart from the original website, with the imposter having the same banner, theme login page and name. This scam is especially dangerous because the website the scammer sends you to will attempt to download an API stealer or keylogger onto your device. The API stealer would allow the scammer to view and alter trade offers you receive. Due to multiple websites such as scrap.tf and manco.store requiring you to deposit items when trading them, the scammer can use a bot that impersonates the trade offer you receive in an attempt to steal your items. When a keylogger is installed into your system, it copies the credentials you use and sends them back to the hacker. This is significantly dangerous because it may steal other credentials outside of Steam, such as bank account information. To prevent falling victim to one of these attacks, Simply don't open any links sent to, by people that have added you. Even if it takes longer to manually look up everything, it's much safer than potentially falling for one of these scams. Steam admin and trade to a friend scams. These ones are incredibly easy to avoid being scammed by. A Steam admin will never ask you for any of your credentials. They won't ask you for any of your items or they won't ask you to log into any website. And no Steam admins don't care if your item's duped and won't delete it if you don't comply with them. They're just the scam as accomplice trying to defraud you. Scammers may also ask for you to trade an item to one of your friends to confirm it's real or not bugged. They or one of their friends will then impersonate your friend and try to mislead you into giving the impersonator that item. This used to be a common scam technique, but it's become much less common because people have kind of cottoned onto it. But it still might be attempted, so you should know about it. Impersonators. One of the most widespread scams is someone pretending to be a famous or semi-famous TF2 trader or YouTuber. They will then ask if they can either broker one of your items, which they'll never give it back if you allow them to broker it, obviously, or they'll ask if you can give an item to them. This could be because they want to see how it looks or because they just want to see um, if they can like feature in a video or whatever. But they'll obviously never give it back if you do give them the item. They might also attend to one of the previously mentioned scare methods um, mentioned in this video. You'll most likely only get added by an impersonator if you comment in the real person's comment section. You can just double check that the person is not an impersonator by just checking their backpack.tf page by right clicking and copying URL and pasting it in backpack. Most of the time this makes it pretty obvious because for a lot of the time have a private backpack in like zero backpack history. I mean unless the person you're adding has a private backpack which most of the time they won't even have an open comment section so it doesn't really apply. PayPal scammers Real-world transactions with virtual items are inherently risky unless something like crypto is used because the side that receives the item or payment first 
might just refuse to provide the item or pay for the item. There's no way to 100% guarantee you won't get scammed, but from my experience, the best way to attempt to avoid this is to avoid huge transactions, ensure the person you're trading with has an inventory history, and has a reputation on backpack.tf in the case of TF2. PayPal adds another layer to this because of the ability to file chargebacks, which are difficult to challenge. You can attempt to prevent chargeback fraud by, by forcing the person using PayPal to state that the money is for the purchase of the item in the description of the payment through PayPal. Exit Scammers This is the hardest scam to avoid because there is often no signs that a person is intending to exit scam, but if they're doing the following, they might be planning to do it. Number 1. Offering cash to many different people at the same time when they previously rarely used cash. Number 2. Only started trading in the last 6 months to a year, and only have trust from small transactions such as buying keys or spy crabbing and other irrelevant trusts. Number 3. Offering cash on items, especially high value items after they've already cashed out most or all of the items. Number 4. Willing to pay significantly more than a reasonable price in cash for an item and then pressing you to make a decision. By following these steps you can avoid the majority of exit scammers but by taking cash in general, you are like open to risk, so you might end up getting scammed occasionally, but you'll avoid most of the fallout if you just follow those four steps easily. Hope this video helped in some way, and I'll see you in the next one.